Tennessee was Georgia next week. We'll travel to Missouri, who's coming off a game against Georgia. So you got a lot of Georgia, a lot of Georgia angles here. I think it definitely works in Tennessee's favor here in that Tennessee played UConn last week. They did they didn't they just you know got off the bus, you know, threw a couple passes and went to sleep. Um <laughs> and then Missouri was in a battle with Georgia. I was really impressed with Missouri. I mean, it's like EPA perspective, they were better overall. I get they they just red zone and turnovers. Uh was but like what they gotta be exhausted after that game. Tennessee's gonna be much more well rested. I and look, look, Tennessee, everything starts with their running backs, a three headed monster in the backfield. Missouri's run has been really good. Um, so that's definitely a question for Tennessee. It's like strength on strength. And then like is Milton, you get good Milton. We've seen flashes of Milton, we've seen bad Milton. But my, I, I can't get behind. I show a tad bit of value on Missouri, but the spot isn't great. And then Luther Burden. I mean, this is before adjusting for Luther Burden. I don't know, number one, if he's going to play. And if he is, he's probably not going to be 100% healthy. And that's massive. I mean, that is like changes the entire dynamic of their offense. Number, not only is he one of the best receivers in the country, you could argue he's the best, but he just, he then he gets, he draws so much attention that it opens up everything else for Weiss and Cooper. So, uh, and I don't think Missouri will be able to get much on the ground. So, like, it's if you don't have a fully healthy burden, it changes everything with this offense. So, I can't get behind Missouri. This is a pass for me. I think you like Tennessee here. I love Tennessee here. I I think Missouri emptied the chamber. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they have anything left in them. And Luther Burden being hurt, I don't think that's being let on exactly how hurt he is. He plays – in the slot, he's the most dynamic, best slot. You're going to see him on your NFL screens uh, coming up in the future. But when you take him away, that allows you to double team Theo Wees and some of the guys on the outside, and that's going to be bad. I mean, Tennessee is no slack in coverage whatsoever. They're 27th in the nation. Um, you know, they're on target rates in the top 50. And Missouri, not only do I think that they just kind of unloaded against Georgia, at, not just emotionally, but physically, and, and they're kind of beat up. Are they – the LSU of the East division. I mean, the, the defense is, we said this last week, why I, I had a hard time. I wanted to bet them. The number said I should have bet them. We sh- I should have bet them, but their defense is so leaky outside the top 100 and uh, finishing drives defensively. Uh, they, they're they outside the top 100 and allowing the big play 87th and quality drives defensively. If you had on late downs, late downs, if you could protect the quarterback and move methodically, you could beat Missouri. Sure enough. Tennessee 13th and havoc allowed. I don't see any pressure getting on uh, Joe Milton whatsoever. Uh, Missouri's 46th in the nation and creating pressures, but Tennessee also offensive line has been fantastic at keeping him clean. So uh, they've only there that the 16th lowest uh, pressures allowed so far this year. So I think there's just too many advantages from the ground game from the pass game. And then defensively, uh, I don't trust Missouri whatsoever. I love the team. They've already eclipsed their win total. I, I, I will, I'll be happy to bet them when they're healthy again, especially with Luther Burden. Uh, but this is a Tennessee play all the way. I, I love the spot. I don't think they're overlooking it because they know they have to have this game to have that competition with Georgia. Oh, and for what it's worth, uh, um, it, I, the coach of Tennessee, uh, how's his name? Heupel. Josh Heupel. Heupel. Heupel has owned drink wits mm-hmm. his offenses if you look over the past couple of years just absolutely have dominated them 